Okay, here's the BMW helmet that I want to put a chain GoPro on. The problem we have is you can't actually buy one for the helmet. So I'll have to uh, build one. I've actually got one I built for the, for the peak here, as you can see. Uh, I fitted a plate under the peak so I could get a flat surface. And then, um, held it securely on top then my GoPro Hero 5 fits on like that which is um, works really well the problem with the Hero 5 is I can't put a microphone in it and I can't um, hear it when I'm going along because it's so high in the helmet so what I want to do is mount a GoPro 10 down here and uh, so I can have a chin mount and then I can um, I can hear it better and I can use a microphone a plug-in microphone as well so what I'm going to do is uh, design something now the problem with the BMW helmet of course is if you look at the side there is not one level surface on the side here so you have a you have a ridge going up here and then you have a trough through here and then it has a funny you might be able to see it here in the light it has a funny ridge coming back down there a dimple here and then a little flat surface on this side so it's actually diffi very difficult to get a flat mount on the um, on the BMW helmet and of course you can't do it on the chin because it's uh, it's an opening so if you look at this the other side I've started drawing the uh, the folds on the chin side and you can actually see it here you've got holy shit <laughs> you've got you've got uh, that's that's the ridge over the middle and then you've got the helmet top You've got a trough here coming through. This is where it breaks and then it heads off to the front. So you've got a sort of flat surface through here. You can mount something. So if I can design a flat plate there and then um, bring it around the front and have a flat plate on the other side, then I'll get two, uh, two flat plates to hold it on with. So this is uh, stage one of the design. As I said, the GoPro um, 5 Hero worked very well on the peak for a while, but I need to put a microphone in it now. It just was uh, too noisy up there, and I couldn't, I couldn't actually tell if it was on or off. So what I'll do is I'll start the design now. Uh, as I said, I've started mapping it out, and I'll build it by hand now. Right, BMW helmet. Version one mock-up. The um, I won't <laughs> I won't tell you how many hours it took me to get this in place, but that looks like it might work. One of the interesting things about a BMW helmet is it actually sits like that about that when you wear it, and so if you want a GoPro mount, you have to think about how it sits. You can see there on my Hero Five. Now that's essentially hot, uh, vertical and um, I haven't quite got that bit right yet but a little bit of mucking about and I could be there and then the next question is what am I going to fab fabricate it from okay that was part two or whatever it is So after making the template for the front of the GS helmet, I, um, I started to look about for a commercial solution, uh, mainly because it's pretty hard to build your own to fit the, ch the chin piece. I thought I did a good job with the GoPro mount for the peak, but I think for the chin, chin piece it just gets too hard. So there was a couple of options when you look on Google, um, you search for... Uh, GoPro chin mount for helmet or whatever and there's probably about three categories 
of chin pieces. The first one is the straps and grippers. So the straps and grippers are up the top left hand side here. And you can see there basically they clamp onto the front of the chin piece or they strap around the chin piece. They're pretty simple. Um, they interfere a little bit with the visor and the GS helmet has got a covering underneath the chin and uh, so the gripper wouldn't really work with that. So I discounted them pretty quickly. I just didn't like them. The top mount, the t look, the top mount's the simplest one you can get. The top mount is really easy, it sticks on top of the helmet, you put the GoPro on it and away you go. Um, yeah, as I said there, you, you look a little bit like a Teletubby, so I think um, I really didn't want to mount it on the top of the helmet. And you can't actually see the GoPro and I like seeing if it's on or off and, uh, and listening to it. Um, the next one is the sticky front or side mounts. Uh, there's sort of three models here. Uh, well, there's probably a million models, but these are the three main ones. There's uh, the one on the left there is by Motorrads. That fits a smooth road type helmet. Doesn't fit a GS helmet, I can tell you that. And so that's been discounted. There's these side mount ones. Um, you put a sticky thing on the side and you can actually mount your GoPro on the side of the helmet or it comes around the front with a chin piece. Uh, I thought that was a little bit flimsy. Um, I did get the connection pieces, but they do move quite a bit and the GoPro vibrates a little bit. And then the last one I did have a look at was the Pro Shot. Uh, the Pro Shot sticks to the side of the helmet. Looks pretty good. I've seen a lot of people with that on uh, YouTube. And so I've really decided to go with the Pro Shot and see what it looks like. So rather than making my own mount, I've decided to go with the Pro Shot and see if I can mount that. So the next section will be uh, mounting the Pro Shot on the GS helmet. I'll show you what that looks like. So here we are back at the, the chin mount for a BMW GS helmet. As you can see, I've cut a template out and uh, the template looks a little bit strange. But basically the way it would fit is on the flat sides there, come around to a flat at the front and then another flat side there. So what I did is I went and looked online and uh, it's very difficult to get a mount for a GPS, sorry, for a GS helmet. Uh, the best one it would look like that is the Pro Shot. So I've got one here. It takes about a month to get it through mail. So this was ordered on Amazon and um, it's called Pro Shot and it's got the sides for connecting either side of the helmet. It mean, it's a fit all mount, which means it fits none in reality. So you hope it fits and um, it seems to do the job. So what I'll do is I'll match, I'll take this out, I'll unbox it. Comes with the sticky pieces, the mount, a uh, GoPro mount for the front, and um, you can log on to get some instructions. So let me uh, have a look at what this might look like and uh, you can get a sticker and then uh, I'll match that up to the helmet and see if I can uh, make it work. So here's the Pro Shot mount out the box or the out the bag rather. <laughs> the, uh, you can see there it asks you to install it along the line of the helmet and not an, uh, an angle. Comes with the uh, plastic mount, the, um, the Velcro straps, and uh, basically you fit it up the side of the helmet. Now, as I said, BMW helmet is not great for mounting it because of these sides, but this seems to go mostly along, sorry, mostly along the uh, flat sides. So I think it will probably do quite nicely. The key is to leave some space so you can get your front visor open. So basically this thing will fit there and it'll, um, if I can get my front, not my front visor, my front uh, mouthpiece open, 
enough space, just leave enough space for my, for my front ventilation and uh, that should do quite nicely. So let me uh, see if I can get this thing mounted without uh, stuffing it up. So I'm going to put the camera down now and uh, show you the finished result. So I've had a bit of a win here with the BMW helmet. As you can see here, it's got some graphics on it and those graphics are equal either side. So that is an absolute win. And um, the Pro Shop mount actually fits to about that little mark there I've made. And so if I put these sticky things along the line of the helmet, as recommended, it sort of fits almost in the flat area, which is really good. And I've, um, I've actually cleaned these off with uh, an alcohol wipe. So I just have got a little alcohol wipe and uh, cleaned the area off. And it looks like this could work out pretty well if I do right. All right, there you are. There's the, uh, the sticky mounts on the, the helmet. And that looks like it. It's taken pretty well. It's contoured to the helmet. You can see there it's wrapped around the helmet contours. That's actually not too bad. I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, let's see what the GoPro mount looks like. So just before just before we uh, put the Pro Shot on the front, I just want to show you what I'm going to do with the microphone. So I've got one of these Rode microphones as you can see here the professional uh, go uh, what i'm going to do is i'll just take off the front of the uh the bmw helmet you can see in the bmw helmet it's got a microphone already there so what i intend to do is just uh put the Rode microphone right next to it. I'll just show you. Just like that. So it'll sit in the corner like that. I'll uh, zip tie it to the original one. And then, um, and I'll tuck the spare cable down the side here in the, uh, in the cheek padding. Okay, so that's it. So we'll put the front back on now and uh, have a look what it looks like. Well, there's the Pro Shop mount, and let me tell you, it really clicks into that Velcro, so I'm quite pleased about that. And um, it seems to sit pretty well on the helmet. So I'll mount the camera and let's have a look at that, what that looks like. So here's the camera mounted on the Pro Shot on the front of the helmet. I think that looks really good actually. It's turned out better than expected. It's sitting in the flat area. The flat area of the BMW helmet is along the bottom there where the Pro Shot sits. The, uh, I've got a Motorrad mount on the front and that mounts the GoPro microphone. So the microphone attachment comes in there and into the, uh, the USB-C port. And then on the other side, I've actually got a USB-C in the microphone mount, and that goes down to the helmet I showed you earlier on in the video. So I think that works really well. GoPro 10, Motorrad mount, uh, GoPro microphone, and the Pro Shop mount. And uh, we're back in business with a GoPro. And there's the old one at the top of the helmet. You can see the old GoPro mount mounted to my visor. I'll probably leave that there because I use that with the Hero 5 and uh, I'll just leave that there for a while. I don't need to take that off. But now this is my GoPro of choice on the chin and uh, I'll do a video on what it's like on the road uh, sometime in the future.
So I've just noticed on the helmet this, um, you may be able to see it just in there. It's uh, a scratch caused by a stone. You can see where it's hit and then go along. Anybody that thinks riding a helmet with no eye cover, if that had hit your eye full on, just think about the damage it would do. done. So always wear goggles or a visor. I never ride bare-faced bare, um, unless I'm going pretty slowly through the back suburb. So that's a good warning, that one. I actually can remember that hitting the helmet coming up a main road as well. I didn't realise it had um, taken the side of the helmet out. There you go. Good lesson for everybody.